Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's word. Hey, today I just I had a very strong nudge from God of as I pause and really reflect back of how the Lord continues to expand uh, the mission of in his grip. And it just showed me a reminder today. I'm going to read just a, a sentence from a study. So the verse that rose up for me was actually two, three and four. And when I look down at an additional study, it says the early church increased in size, but so did its needs. One great need was to organize even the distribution of the food to the poor. The apostles needed to focus on preaching, so they chose others to administer the food program. So, guys, I'm just realizing that um, God is calling others to help shepherd this amazing ministry of In His Grip, and I really need to keep surrendering it, giving it to Him, to allow Him to bring others to carry the banner uh, of His ministry, not mine. So, that's just a huge nudge. Here's my two verses that went deep today. Verses 3 and 4, Brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and we'll give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the Word. All right, there's my two verses. As I camped out on those two verses, this was my reveal. As the Innis Grip remains focused on helping men get a daily grip on God's Word, we all need to be praying for men and women to help with the responsibility of expanding the mission. My eye, my implementation is I'm deeply nudged to make sure that we are bathing the ministry in prayer and searching for those that are filled with the spirit of the Lord to help with expansion. My prayers, Lord, bring the men and the women that are filled with your spirit to help expand your ministry here on earth. Guys, I started, remember how I started out chapter one? I wish I say I'm right there, 100%, fully surrendering the ministry each and every moment so God can really take it where he has planned for it. Um, I believe I'm inching to make some progress in it and uh, appreciate your prayers, you know, for the ministry because obviously it needs to be bathed in immense prayer for anything to be long lasting for anything for God to use. It's, it's, we've just got to lay it before him. So working on that, love to have you join me on that. Love to help you keep me accountable for that. Um, and just encouraging each other on that journey. Okay. Let me pray this out. Lord, thank you for the great example of even in the early church, when you breathe the Holy spirit into the believers that, they needed to use their different gifts and abilities to help shepherd uh, the mission that you have started. So, Lord, I would ask for that wisdom and that discernment that you uh, had through the disciples, through the team that you built, to see great, miraculous expansion that can only be authored by you. Jesus, do what you're famous for. Do the miraculous. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. Have that awesome, awesome day, okay?